and we're going to talk about sublimation. Can everyone say sublimation with me? Sublimation. Okay, and that has to deal with changing states of matter. But first states we, of matter? What do you mean states of matter? Well, not like Georgia and Tennessee and Florida. I'm talking about the actual states of like... Well, let me ask the kids. They probably know this. Can you tell me if you take some water, anyone, just shout it out, and you put it in the freezer, what happens to it? It turns into a solid. That's right. Okay. Okay. Now, if we take that solid, we call it ice, right? And we put it in the, oh, I don't know, let's say the kitchen counter. What happens to that ice? It melts. It melts, turns into a liquid. I heard liquid. Very good. So a solid into a liquid. Now, what if we take that liquid water and put it outside in the sun? What? It evaporates into a gas. Wow, this group is really smart. So we know that the three states of matter transform equally from solid to liquid to gas. And that's the kind of gas you can put in your car, mind you. Okay, so where are you going with this, Dr. Reactor? Well, with sublimation, we're going to skip one of those states of matter. Why? Just because it's neat. And it helps us understand other scientific principles. So what I have here is actually a frozen piece of air. Frozen air? It this looks is like ice. ice. Yes, it is ice in a way. It's carbon dioxide, which is in the air all around you. But right now it's frozen into a solid. Well, if I put it into some liquid just to warm it up, or I could just leave it out, we see it turned into a gas. But guess what it's not turning into? It's not turning into a liquid. So we're going from a solid to a gas. And we skip the liquid stage completely. Okay. The dry ice is so cold, it can burn your skin. Have you heard of that? Something means so cold, it can burn you. But the bubbles it makes from the gas, and since it's already melted, aren't that cold. And Whoa. here is your spooky ghost egg. Is that cold? Now, can you put out your hand now? And see if you can catch it without a popping, okay? Wow. 